<laughs> this music be music in. Okay, let's go ahead to the Great Divide. I'm super excited. This this like is such a this good show. I don't care. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Okay. Okay, thanks. Episode 11, Great Divide. Woo! What you doing in there? Um, aren't you forgetting the tarp? Right. Got it. What if it doesn't? Then I would have put the tarp up for nothing. Uh, uh, you're infuriating. Mm -hmm. Watch it rain. Oh, yeah? Well, you're Mr. Lazy Bum, king of the tents. Damn. Come on, Momo, that's fair. Appa's got five stomachs. Not five stomachs, my goodness. There it is, guys. The Great Divide. Wow. Grand Canyon. Okay, I've seen enough. Amen. How can you not be fascinated, Sokka? You're a refugee. Huh, tell me something I don't know. That sounds familiar. That's the ignorance I'd expect from a messy Zhang. Um. Oh, hello. Sorry about the wait, youngsters. Who's ready to cross this here canyon? We've got old people who are weary from traveling. Sick people get priority over old people. So many sick people if you weren't such slob. Damn! Dungeons weren't so clean, maybe you wouldn't live to be so old. What kind of sense does that make? These people have been feuding for a hundred years. Mm -hmm. Everyone listen up! Ma'am. This is the Avatar. And Bitch! Give him a chance. Stop announcing it! You're supposed to be secret. You're all going down together and Appa here will fly your stick and elderly across. Does that seem fair? Bruh, I'm not helping none of y'all. Chill the fuck out. He's the Avatar, Sokka. Making peace between people is his job. Girl. His job's gonna make us cross this whole thing on foot, isn't it? Yep. Many of you are probably wondering how canyons are formed. Experts tell us this canyon was most likely carved into the ground river? by Earth spirits. Oh, never mind. I forgot that. Huh? That would do it. <gasps> Guess the spirits are still angry. Hope you all brought sacrifices. Bro, how long does it take? These people are fleeing the Fire Nation, aren't they? We gotta make sure we can't be followed. We'll be safe now. <laughs> I thought that they was gonna fight him. We gotta help him! Ah. Make it! <gasps> oh no, my guy's unconscious. Me. Damn. Your arms, they're broken. Without my arms, I got no bending. In other words, we're, we're stuck trapped in this canyon. Unless he can figure out how to bend. I think Aang can do it, but I mean. No bending. We need to get out of this canyon. I won't die down here. I won't become part of the food chain. See? We're going to become part of the food chain because of you. I'm leaving. I thought I could help you guys get along, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Nope. We should split up. Ganjin's on this side and Jang's on that side. Bro, I don't have time for this. <sighs> Would you care for some bread, Katara? So, why does your tribe hate the Zhang so much? You seem like a smart girl, Woo! Katara. I bet you would enjoy hearing some history. Okay, I thought it was like, you so smart if you asked me a stupid-ass question. I would have said it. It's over something stupid. I know it is. The arc of our tribe, Jin Wei, was an earthbender warrior who was assigned an important duty. Transporting our sacred orb from the Great Eastern Gate to the Great Western. Mm hmm
Taking the orb from the east to the west represents the sun's rising and setting. Mm -hmm. It was our tribe's ancient redemption ritual. Oh, redemption, okay. Jin Wei was attacked by one of the Zhang. Did a it break? German named Wei Jin, who looked at the orb with envy. But as Wei Jin crossed the border to return the orb into Ganjin territory, he was arrested. Instead of thanking him for his kind and selfless deed, they sentenced him to 20 long years in prison. What actually happened? You're gonna finish that? <laughs> Sure would be nice to be around one of those campfires, telling stories and laughs. Really? We'll be out of here soon enough, and then we can eat our weight in lychee nuts. No, thank you. Now, I guess our biggest problem is getting out of here. I'm not so sure the two problems are unrelated. Did you go to sleep, sir? All clear. We're almost to the other side. Katara, Sokka, will these people cooperate long enough to get out of the canyon? No. I don't think so, Aang. The Zhangs really wronged the Ganjins. Wei Jin didn't steal the orb. He was returning it to their village gate and was wrongfully punished by the Ganjin. Not punished enough, if you ask me. Jump. Maybe the Zhang can climb the wall with their long, disgusting fingernails. Sir. Uh Why, you dirty thief. You pompous fool. Why the fuck are y'all arguing with him? won't solve problems. Action will. Perhaps Start bopping people on the head with your stick. Fight! Harsh words will never solve our problems. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that sword is nasty. You know, I, I take it back. Harsh words aren't so bad. Not to the death. Put some air between them. Smuggled food down here? Unbelievable! So hungry. Is that egg custard in that tart? Bruh, I'm eating the food. You don't have to like crush him. Can you do earth bending at all? How are you going to get out of this? Now follow me! We're riding out of this hole! How are y'all staying on these animals' backs when they is vertical? Like that. And I never knew Yu Zhang's was so reliable in a pinch. Child. Bitch, you have one pony. Jin Wei? Wei Jin? 
I know those guys. Yes, yes, we're all aware of the story. Look it, but I'm 112 years old. I was there 100 years ago on the day you're talking about. There seems to be a lot of confusion about what happened. Wei Jin didn't steal the ball. He picked it up and started running it back toward the other goal. But he stepped out of bounds. So the official put him in the penalty box. Not for 20 long years, but for two short minutes. Don't get me wrong, Wei Jin was kind of a slob, and Jin Wei was a little stuffy. That much is true. But they respected each other's differences enough to share the same playing field. They were fucking bro- I suppose it's time we forget the past. And look to the- Well, they wouldn't have known if it was for Aang. But Aang, you heard them talk about these people before they got to the Great Divide. Why you ain't say nothing? Did you just make that up? <laughs> I cannot thank you enough, Avatar. Well, you know, I try. Oh! Exactly. Let us travel to the Earth- Together. No. I'm sick of this place! That's some luck you knew Jin Wei and Wei Jin. You could call it luck. Or you could call it lying. What? I made the whole thing up. You did- Good job. I'm starving. I'm like, you knew this, right? But listen, if you're gonna lie, that's how you lie. That is how you lie. Because everybody was bringing food. That's why y'all got attacked in the first place. If y'all had followed instructions, you wouldn't have gotten attacked. 